purchase your Cadillac and go to do the paperwork, you're going to be asked a question about what you want to do for in-home charging. The two options are either two years of free charging with EVgo or a $1,500 credit with QMerit. QMerit is an electrical company that installs in-home electrical chargers throughout the United States. They actually subcontract out. They're based in California, but they subcontract out with local <clears throat> partners throughout the entire United States, and it's a good uh, partner for GM to um, work with in order to get in-home chargers in their customers' um, homes after they purchase an electric vehicle. So it's very generous that EV uh, Go is being made available with two years free and uh, $1,500 or, I'm sorry to say and, or $1,500 with QMerit. <clears throat> now, when you need to make that decision, really the question is, do you have a charger at home? With the Cadillac Lyric, you're going to need a level two charger at home. And let me just pull up my calculator here to explain why. This first number, 40 times 240, uh, so if your breaker panel circuit is 40 amps and you're getting 240 volts, that's 9.6 kilowatts. So you put the period right there, 9.6 kilowatts. That's your charging speed. 40 amps is what you'll get off a NEMA 1450 outlet, those big dryer outlets. That's 40 amps. If you Now because of electrical code and something called continuous feed, that NEMA 1450 outlet can only do 40 amps. It's electrical code. And when inspectors come, they'll make sure that's the case. So 9.6 uh, kilowatts is as fast as you can get out of a NEMA 1450. If it's hardwired into the breaker panel, you can get 48 amps or 11.6 kilowatts of uh, charging speed, which is better. The Cadillac Lyric has a large battery. Some EV um, car makers will say, hey, we can do 10 to 80% in 15 minutes. Aren't we awesome? But th what they're not saying is they've got a 55 kilowatt hour battery. They're trying to make you uncomfortable by shaping the car really small and aerodynamic and um, lowering the drag coefficient and uh, focusing on efficiency and things like that. The Lyric is not designed to make you uncomfortable. It's actually the opposite. She's a big girl with a big battery, super comfortable. It's an SUV, you know, so it's not getting efficient drag coefficient uh, from the wind. You know, they do the best they can, but still, she's a, she's a big girl. It's a, it's, it's a Cadillac SUV. So, 102 kilowatt hour battery takes a while to charge. It's a bigger battery. So faster speed is important. And the Cadillac Lyric is one of the few cars that can do 80 amps for AC charging. Its onboard charger can go up to 80 amps. EVgo, if you, ch if you already have a charger and you're going to elect EVgo, let me just talk about them very briefly. Initially, when Nissan was selling the Leaf many moons ago, a decade ago plus, they needed a partner to help make it practical to drive the thing around the United States. So they partnered with EVgo to install those 50 kilowatt chargers that everyone now complains about being broken all the time. So they've been around a long time. They're just not a national network at the same level as Electrify America. However, they've got something called EVgo Renew, where they're ripping out those older models and they're putting in faster Delta chargers. So in certain select locations throughout the United States, certain municipalities like Atlanta close to us and Raleigh in North Carolina are, are really saturated with EVgo stations. GM is also partnering with Pilot Flying J and EVgo to install NEVI compliant DC fast charging locations throughout the United States using the federal funds from the Inflation Reduction Act. And that's also EVgo. So conceivably, as time goes on, EVgo is going to become a much larger player, and if you already have a charger at home, that might make sense. However, if you don't have a charger at home, electing the $1,500 with QMerit to get one installed does make sense. However, we've just changed from J1772 to the North American Charging Standard, 
as the de facto standard throughout the United States. GM is announcing all their cars are going to be NAC, Ford, obviously Tesla, Rivian, and obviously every other OEM is just a matter of time before they fall in line also. I'm guessing Volvo is going to be the next one. Regardless, the North American charging standard or that Tesla adapter is the one that is go forward. So if you're going to be purchasing a charger for your house, it doesn't make sense to purchase a J1772 charger. And there is a company that makes a Tesla adapter. It's Tesla. <laughs> Tesla is the only one. And and they're not trying to be exploitative with the wall connector. It's $475. If you go on Amazon and you look at the charge point connector, it's $750 for the charge point connector. This one is $475. And the other nice thing about the Tesla wall connector uh, is the cable is nice and long, so it can reach both sides of your garage. The handle is durable. You'll drop the thing because, you know, you're irking around the side of the car trying to maneuver into getting the charger. In and you'll drop the thing a couple of times, and it's durable. Uh, the cable itself is a quality that doesn't become hard to manage in cold weather. Uh, Tom Malagny on the State of Charge uh, YouTube channel gives the Tesla wall connector uh, the best rating. He, he loves the thing. It is really good. And now that we're going NACs for the standard throughout North America, right now they're the only game in town. My personal opinion is buy a Tesla wall connector, have it installed by QMerit with the GM $1,500 credit, and then... For the time being, um, get yourself Electron Adapter, which is this one right here. And I do want to call out that Electron made this adapter in two different flavors, a 40 amp and a 48 amp. If you get it off Amazon, which you can, it's readily available off Amazon, that's where we got it. You want to make sure that you get the 48 amp, because as I said with the math, if you get the 40 amp one, you're only getting 9.6 kilowatts. If you're getting the 48 amp, you're getting 11.6 kilowatts. So it's faster and it's no difference in price. It's just a newer model. So you want to make sure that you get that one. This is the GM Altium brand in-home charger. And I really like the thing. I was going to get it before this whole North American charging standard thing broke out. And I was actually thinking of replacing the Tesla wall box or leaving it or adding. I hadn't really decided. But when we purchased the Lyric, it being an 80 amp capable vehicle and having a large battery, I kind of wanted a Altium branded charger that has 80 amps. This one is the 40 amp because you see the NEMA 1450 plug on it. But Tom Malagny on the State of Charge YouTube channel says that their, uh, G, their being GM, is making an Altium charger that is 80 amp capable. And what this charger is is a company called Flow, headquartered in Canada, has started making chargers in Al Al Alburn Hills, let me see if I can say it right, Michigan, in order to comply with the Made in America requirements for um, the uh, tax breaks. This particular charger, the Core, Mac, the Core Plus Max, which is a commercial grade charger, this is what GM is rebranding as this. This is the same charger. It's just branded Altium. And uh, GM said, hey, you guys got to make this in in uh, the United States. Uh, you know, Please take care of making this somewhere. And they set up shop in Michigan. And this particular one, if you look, it says 80 amps right here. So I'm assuming with speeds up to 19.2. So I'm assuming what's going to happen is GM at some point in the not too distant future is going to offer a DAX handle on the Core Plus Max charger, Altium branded at 80 amps. And whenever they do, I would say that's the go-to charger for the Cadillac Lyric, just because you get the faster speeds, uh, the big battery can be replenished more quickly. Uh, but for the time being, uh, there is no Nax charger, and I can't say it makes sense at this po point in time to put in a J1772 um, charger in your home. It just, you know, you're putting that in for 10 years, 20 years of use. And um, J1772 is going to be obsolete in 18 months. So right now, the only company that has one is Tesla. And as I said, it's a good buy. 
is a very good unit. There's no reason not to buy it. I would recommend doing it. And then just get yourself an adapter. It works fine. That's the way I charge my cars. Uh, as I said, it wasn't really planned. That's just kind of how circumstances fell out for us. And it seems to have worked out fortunately. Anyway, hope this helps.